You're listening to 90.9 FM WIRQ Ronakoit's home for new music and great classics. I promised you yesterday, and it's now time for Cues in the Morning again. This time I am on camera. It is the podcast here on 90.9 FM WIRQ, Cues in the Morning, expanding to a podcast. I am excited. Everyone else is excited. So I said yesterday, and for those who did not listen, I had my last football discussion, and I'm not going to talk about football anymore. Unless it's a major free agency release, major trade. But something did catch my eye, and I will mention it for the brief 10-15 seconds. Josh Gordon of the uh, Cleveland Browns wide receiver suspended for a year with substance abuse. That's a big shot to the Cleveland Browns. That's all I'm going to say for football. That's all I'm going to say. So, moving on now. Uh, March Madness, again, coming up in March. Uh, we're in the month of February. And this is the 4th? It is the 4th, I believe, right? Yes, it is the 4th. Fe- February 4th, next month, in about a month, month and a half. Mid-March, they start March Madness, I think. But I will fill out a bracket. It'll be on camera. I will uh, fill out my bracket as soon as they, uh, it, it comes out. First time ever filling out a bracket, and I am excited for it. And it's just, it's just a lot, and it's, just, it's, it's haunting in a way. And um, I, I don't know. It, I feel like it'll be interesting. I haven't really... <laughs> been in the loop with college basketball, so I kind of have to get back into it, but I'll do it, and for, for the sake of all of you, but uh, again, if you're not listening to this the entire show, the podcast will be up on the WIRQ uh, Facebook page, just search WIRQ, it's simple four letters, uh, hit the like button, and it'll soon hopefully be a link on YouTube, I think, maybe, I don't know, we'll figure it out, but it'll definitely be on Facebook, so anyways, some interesting headlines that are not football. Wow. Uh, we had a couple basketball games last night, and we also had some headlines uh, regarding in the UFC. Um, everyone knows, for at least it's relevant, Anderson Silva, uh, about a year ago, um, on very uh, famous injury, um, shattered his leg in a pay-per-view event, and it was very, very disturbing to watch. So uh, he came back in his first fight against Nate Diaz, and both of them failed their... Um, drug tests. Um, it was not pretty. It was a good fight. Silva ended up winning. Um, that's a huge headline on ESPN right now, and many people are upset and kind of kind of very, I guess, disappointed in both. So um, it, it is what it is. Um, I, I, I don't really want to get into it. I mean, it, it's, it's what happened. You can't really get farther into it. It's a substance abuse, I guess. It's been a lot lately in sports. Um, some scores I'll read off to you. A couple NBA games around last night. Uh, Warriors beat the uh, Kings 121-96. to Not a big surprise there. Uh, Golden State um, making a big run this season. Uh, Portland Trailblazers beat the Jazz by 1, 103-102. to Only two NBA games on last night. So uh, Also in college basketball, which was really the game of the night, uh, number one ranked Kentucky, who, by the way, is not my pick to win March Madness. Whoa. Um, you'll figure out my pick when I do the bracket. I think I have it in mind. Um, number one, Kentucky beat, uh, unranked Georgia, 69-58. Uh, number five, Wisconsin beat Indiana, 92-78. Louisville, ranked number nine, beat Miami, 63-55. Northern Ohio, uh, Northern Iowa, not Ohio. I read that wrong. Northern Iowa beat Indiana State, 61-51. Oklahoma, the Sooners defeated the West uh, defeated uh, number fifteen West Virginia in the upset because uh, Oklahoma was ranked twenty one and uh, West Virginia was ranked fifteen seventy one fifty two the final score um, ranked number twenty two Butler defeated uh, your own St John Fisher uh, eighty five sixty two and Vanderbilt beat uh, the Gators sixty seven sixty one. Um, there's a lot of uh, college games and it's getting towards the uh, second half. Towards the wrap up of the uh, regular season, I guess you'd call it, and then it's March Madness. The tournament begins, and it's crunch time. Um, a lot of hockey games on last night. Uh, Nashville Predators. That was I watched a save. I'm not. I forgot the goalie's name, and I, I'm I'm ah I'm knocking my head against the wall because I don't remember his name. Um, great save. Great save. They uh, defeated the Maple Leafs four to three. Minnesota Wild beat the Chicago Blackhawks three uh, nothing. St. Louis Blues defeated the Tampa Bay Lightning two to one in overtime. 
and the Washington Capitals shut out the defending Stanley Cup champions, Los Angeles Kings, four to nothing. So, in hockey news, I guess since I was just talking about scores, um, local teams, Buffalo, slowly falling back to where they used to be, falling apart in a way, and I, I don't know. Um, they were looking looking good. I know it was like what eight, ten game win streak, I believe, and. Now they're starting to fall back to where the usual Buffalo Sabres end up, and um, it, I, I, it's it's the Sabres. What, what more do you do you want from them? I guess is all I can say. Um, moving down southern tier of New York State, Rangers and Islanders looking great. Uh, Rangers won last night, uh, not last night, two days ago. I mentioned that earlier uh, yesterday. They won six to three. And against the uh, Panthers, Florida Panthers, yes, Florida Panthers. I'm trying to remember, um, Rangers looking great this season. Uh, Islanders looking a little better though. So if you want to see a Stanley Cup run for the East, at least there's at least two New York, two out of the three New York teams that are going to be uh, threatening to uh, make it in the Stanley Cup and possibly win it all. So moving on to back when I was talking about basketball, NBA. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Football consumed me in my sports life a lot because of the Seahawks. So I have to I have to get back in to many different sports and I apologize for not getting into many sports lately because of football, but I'll uh I'll uh, I'll, I'll get back into it. I'll I'll I'll, f- I'll f- somewhat follow the NBA. I guess. I don't know. I'm not really a big basketball guy. <sighs> I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that. I'm not really a big basketball guy, but that that's just who I am. I'm more I'm more excited for spring training. February eighteenth, at least for the Mets, I'm excited for. Um that's uh a lot a lot of teams that start on different days, whether it's the eighteenth, nineteenth, the twentieth, whatever. But um I'm I'm excited for that. Um and I don't know, maybe I can't Stop bringing up football because there's so many headlines in the off season. But there's so many headlines right now. It's only a few games off, a few few uh few days off the Super Bowl. So I mean, I can't abandon it even though I want to so bad. But um, again, the whole Josh Gordon thing, um, being suspended for at least a year, at least a year with the substance abuse. Um, Seattle Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson. This is baseball. This is baseball, not football. He's just a football quarterback, but he's going to the Texas Rangers for spring training and um, to to attend and play some games, which is pretty cool. I mean, what else does Russell Wilson have to do on his off season besides uh, sit there in in I guess in regret and why he threw the pass at the one yard line, the bizarre slant pass? But um, I guess really that that'd be interesting. Um, I don't know. Russell Wilson played for the Rangers last year in spring training. Didn't do that bad. He played second base. I didn't really watch as much, but um, hey. But um, also, all right, fine. I'll talk. I'll talk football. But this is only free agency, so it's not about not about the Super Bowl. Um, Pete Carroll and the Seahawks are talking about Marshawn Lynch and resigning him. Negotiations are in effect. They are talking to him, which is big. Because if Lynch leaves Seattle, <laughs> they're done. Don't even think about making the, uh, make, maybe make the playoffs. But don't even think about making <laughs> to the Super Bowl again. Because if you don't have a, a running back like Marshawn Lynch, you're not going back <laughs> for a long time. Uh, until you find someone that's like Marshawn Lynch. Um, also, also good news for Seattle, I guess. Richard Sherman might not need Tommy John surgery, which is really a baseball-related um surgery and hey i'm bringing back baseball so this is no um p uh p carroll said that sherman may not need tommy john surgery with his arm that he injured at the nfc championship game after hitting his hand against his own teammate's helmet <sighs> yeah that happened but um it, that injury i said could last from nine to twelve months for the sort of recovery recovery wise of the surgery and um i i guess that's bad but Think about it. He that's a really a major league baseball pitcher uh type of surgery and injury really. So I mean he's not throwing the ball, he's a corner. So 
even if he does, if he if he gets the procedure, it's not going to last him nine to twelve months to recover. Because with the nine to twelve months it takes for the for the surgery to recover, that's the pitcher when they get the surgery or the mainly the baseball player they uh they they have to do rehab with their arm and throwing again and all this different stuff. I mean, it's a little less. I mean, you're, you're, Sherman's really blocking and catching, so he's not really throwing the, uh, a baseball for 90 miles an hour like 80 times a game once or twice a week. So, I mean, it, it, it can vary, but he might not need the surgery at all, which is good. Um, that, that's, uh, I don't know. I hope for the best. I Honestly, as a Seahawks fan. But um, also, talking about baseball, talking about injuries, um, Angels, uh, Ham- uh, Josh Hamilton is getting a joint fix in his shoulder, and this was announced Tuesday, and he also could possibly miss the beginning of spring training, which really isn't the a bad thing, I guess, because it's the spring training, and it's really for the, for the, for the lower class talent to make a name for themselves and get on the board, I guess, to say, so... That's that's interesting. Um, that's a lot, a lot of injuries going on now. A lot of, especially in the um, in the uh, football off season, you see a lot of surgeries being taking place and injuries. And um, I guess again, I'll talk about NFL periodically. And um, there were um, some interesting updates with the new Buffalo Bills head coach Rex Ryan. Um, who originally, when he was uh, hired by the New York Jets, he re- he got a New York Jets tattoo on his arm, and he he has Buffalo fever, is what I'm gonna call it. He is excited to be up here. I mean, I mean, this is a guy you think that would immediately get a coaching job, but he's like, okay, no one's hiring me. Or you know, he was a guy that was thinking that he was going to keep his job with the Jets and they were, they were going to fire their GM and keep uh, keep Rex Ryan that's what everybody else was thinking that's what he was thinking and he gets fired but buffalo uh, buffalo hires him um he's excited about that again he has buffalo fever when he was hired the uh a local pizza place made him uh, a pizza in honor of Rex Ryan which was kind of cool in, in a way i mean they're they're excited um he anyways with uh getting back on track with the story um he got his uh Jets tattoo when he was first hired by the Jets when he was fired. And then he gets hired by the Bills and he goes to a tattoo parlor and touches it up and changes the colors from green and white to red and blue and tattoos, I think, somewhat of a Bills logo over the Jets tattoo, which is, that would look really weird. And given the fact that he's old and the picture they took of him when he was getting the tattoo, he was shirtless and I didn't need to see that. I'm sorry. It's, it's Rex Ryan. I'm sorry. I just. No, I'm sorry. I can't do that. So, um, I'm just ma- I'm just poking fun. But um, Buffalo, I don't know. Get a quarterback. Don't work on EJ Manuel, is my opinion. Don't work on him. He's had enough. He's been in the league for what three years now. First season he did decent, and then he got injured, and then last season he did terrible, and got pulled, and then Kyle Orton played, and the Bills went nine and seven. So they're not with Kyle Orton this year. So this coming year, at least. So um, quarterback is a big red flag for Buffalo right now. They need to fix, but they have plenty of time. It's only February, and they have until at least what well, August. That's when preseason starts. So or training camp at least when they when uh, Buffalo comes to St. John Fisher in Rochester to do some training camps, which I heard is a lot of fun to watch them. So. Um, Anyways, um, more coaching um, information. Um, going back to Seattle, uh, the defensive coordinator, former def- defensive coordinator for Seattle for two seasons, uh, Dan Quinn. It was expected he did. He got the job for Atlanta, the new coach of the Atlanta Falcons. That means every single coaching spot that was available, I think it was six or seven, is done. They're filled, and they're getting ready for next season. So Dan Quinn, the new head coach of the uh, Atlanta Falcons, uh, as a Seattle fan, I wish him the best of luck. Um, he's a good coach. So, moving on to that. Now, now I'm done. Today, at least, with the NFL. I think. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. And I think, I think I'm good. Alright. 
while I think about that, uh, we're going to take a break. Uh, you're listening to Cues in the Morning, and for those who are watching this after it's live, you're watching the podcast, I'm taking a break. I'll be right back. You're listening to 90.9 FM, WIRQ, around the home for new music and great classics. Welcome back to Cues in the Morning. Not only are you hearing me from this microphone, but also, well, you're hearing me live from this microphone, I guess, if for those who are listening on the radio. But for those who haven't heard the entire show, it's a podcast now, and I'm on camera. So, this, uh, and that, that, that means, um, if you want to hear the entire show, or you're just tuning in now, or you already tuned off and you already know this, but if you, um, want to hear the entire show, you can always go back to it now, since it's on camera, and there's a camera right next to me, and, um, I can see my face through it, it's kind of cool, but, um, this is going to be on a, this is a podcast now, as well as a radio show, and it'll be on our WIRQ Facebook page, just search on Facebook, if you don't have a Facebook, I'm sorry, then I, I, I can't help you, <laughs> um, a lot of people have Facebook, so... I mean, my grandmother has a Facebook. You have a Facebook. Stop lying to yourself. If you don't have a Facebook, make a Facebook. Because everyone has a Facebook. <laughs> Anyways, um, search WIRQ. It's a simple four letters. And like it. And this will be on here. So, if you like what I have to say, or just want to see the hand motions I make while I'm talking, because you can't when I'm on the radio, then watch the podcast, because it's really good. Anyways... Um, I was reading, um, some articles on the break, and not really articles, just some standings, because I did mention that I'm going to be making my first bracket, um, it'll be on the show, and I don't know if I'll have time to finish it, I'll start it, I'll, pro- I'll promise at least that I'll at least start the bracket, but I do have my pick, who is gonna win it all, and I'm not gonna say it until I make the bracket, so... Um, I'm looking at the top 25 list, and I haven't seen it in a long time. And when I mean a long time, I mean like a month ago, <laughs> and everything's changed. Um, I st- Kentucky's still number one. They're still undefeated. And then, <laughs> then I forgot about Gonzaga, and uh, they're 22-1, and one, and I forgot that they're number two, and I <laughs> forgot they existed. And then number three, you have Virginia, then it's Duke, and then it's Wisconsin for the top five. And then and then it gets goes down from there. I'm not reading all 25, but uh, and then I and then I forgot that this season, uh, Syracuse was doing awful, and they're not even <laughs> they're not even ranked. So, um, you can't I can't really go orange in March because I don't think they're, well they'll be in the tournament at least I think they'll not be ranked, but they'll be in the tournament I, I believe. Will they qualify for the tournament? I don't know. If they are, then I I will. I mean, it's Syracuse. I mean, they, uh, I I guess we'll, we'll we'll have to have to see when when the brackets do come out. And I'm just I'm just also reading the news for uh for some for baseball and stuff like that. And um, really the one thing that sparked me I started uh the story started yesterday. Um, there was a um new um prospect from Cuba. The kid's 19 years old. His name is, if I mess this up, I'm sorry, Yoan Mancada. Um, anyways, he's a 19-year-old infielder from Cuba. And um, he's had permission. He moved to the States, and now he's going to be, um, one, I guess, the top prospect for Major League Baseball this coming season. Um, there hasn't been really word on who he's working with yet, what team he's going to work with. So... Um, that'll be announced. Um, the really the top front runners are the Yankees and the Dodgers. So from what I've heard, so um, that's not a guarantee. It's just those are the top front runners. You can go to any of the teams in the MLB. Go to the Mets. <laughs> and anyways, um, he looks like he knows what he's doing. And I mean, they had a. I was watching a snippet of Sports Center, and it showed. Um, his ratios and percentages of um, how well he does, uh, defense and offensive, and it's almost perfect. And from what I've heard, this kid's really good. So is he going to be a major impact in the MLB? Yeah. Will he start off in minor leagues for a little bit if he's as good, and then he'll go to the, to the majors. So um, spring training starts very, very soon um, in, what, two weeks? Two weeks. 
Yeah, it's in Florida. So I'll be watching the spring training games. I'll be able to, by then, I will be, the show will be dedicated to a good five minutes of hockey. <laughs> the, the rest, the, like the rest of the half, baseball, and then I'll go to basketball. So, and then a little maybe 60 second NFL scoop. Maybe if I, if I can make that promise, I can do a 60 second, one minute, NFL update, and I have to require 60 seconds. I will time myself 60 seconds <laughs> talking about the NFL. <laughs> well, if I'm looking and there's nothing here, there, <laughs> there's nothing about the NFL, I'm going to talk about football for 60, 60 seconds because it, it still deserves its its rightful spot on this show. So, um, uh, also, I guess, I didn't, I'm talking about the, for hockey, I guess. Um, I'm going to look at the standings real, real quick. And the um the best team, I guess, in uh in um NHL and hockey today, uh it's between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Montreal it's a Can- it's Canucks. That's Canucks, I'm pretty sure it's the yes it is. Wow. Oh no, this is the Canadians. Is it? Wow, I'm really bad. But anyways, um Buffalo is now fifteen and thirty three. They had that run, and now they're. I think they're out. They're they're, they're out. So, um, Islanders thirty two and seventeen, and the Rangers twenty nine and fifteen. Definitely getting in. Um, I can see, um, the uh, Islanders making a big run. So, I see the Islanders and Rangers possibly making a big run, and then you can't count out the Red Wings, and not the Rochester Red Wings, it the Detroit Red Wings, and um, they're third in the conference in the eastern side so that's cool <laughs> but um that's a talkie for you so a quick quick wrap up i guess because i'm running out of things to say uh quick wrap up a little quick nfl wrap up uh seattle things are looking up sherman might not need tommy john surgery and lynch might not resign with the team and also um, Russell Wilson playing for the Texas Rangers in spring training. Yeah, I brought some baseball into that. Mixed it. Josh Gordon to the Browns suspended for a year or more. It's at least a year, so we're not seeing him next year. That's a big loss for Cleveland. Talk about that later. Again, I'll remind you, I am filling out a bracket for college basketball for March Madness when it comes out. So, um, I will again keep you updated on that. Baseball starts February eighteenth. Don't miss that spring training game. At least one of them. Watch one of them. Um, I don't expect you to watch all of them because some of them are on during the afternoon when I can't. So um, I'll keep up. I'll keep up to date. So baseball coming. Uh, March Madness is coming, and um, the basketball is heating up for the NBA, and so is hockey. So until next time, I will. I guess I can see you, and you'll hear me later, and I will see you guys later. Yeah.